Hey, good afternoon, everyone. Namaste. This is Sacred Owl giving you some real talk. Uh, I had to change the name of it because I was told uh, real talk belongs to somebody. So, okay, no problem. I must be getting popular real quick, so I appreciate it. But uh, today I wanted to talk to you about, really, really talk to you about worrying and, and the energy of fear and the energy of love and, and how that works. Because, you know, there's an old line by my, my man Bob Marley, love him, don't worry, don't worry about a thing, everything's going to be all right. Well, it's the truth. Don't worry about a thing. But think about it, though. When we start to worry, what we do is we bring in an intention of fear. And what we start to do is that as we're worrying, we are attracting things to worry about. See, the universe is beautiful because we have this thing called choice. It gives us choice. It allows us to have choice. So if we choose to worry, the universe, God, whatever you want to call it, says yes to everything. So it'll say, okay, I'll give you more things to worry about. So that you want to worry about money, let me give you more money props. You want to worry about your car, let me break your car down. If you want to worry about the attitude that you carry about life and, and having a, a, a depressive mentality, then it'll give you more things to be depressed about. What you want to do is that you want the universe, God, to say yes to you about all joyful things. So we have to flip the way we start to think. We have to flip our mentality. We have to flip the attitude that we carry and start to ask ourselves what's really important here. What's more important here is to feel good. The heart center is what sends out emotions. So if you're in fear or anger or depression or worrying about money, then you're going to have all that that's given to you. So what we want to do is we want to kind of twist God's arm or the universe's arm or spirit's arm and say, hey, why don't you give me things to be happy about? Well, then it's up to you to decide how happy you're going to be so you can attract that to you. There's a joy about life, and the greatest way to get happiness into your life is to start asking yourself, what is it that I need to be involved with bringing more positive energy into my life by saying, how happy can I be? So look, this is how you build it up. You say, hey, what am I grateful for? I'm grateful for waking up this morning. I'm grateful for having five dollars in my pocket. I'm grateful for that lunch I had today. I'm grateful for the person that said hi to me. I'm grateful for my hands. I'm grateful for my feet. I'm grateful for my nose. I'm grateful for my eyes. I'm grateful for this beautiful hat that I have on. I'm grateful for this red shirt. And that's how we start to change the energy. And by being more and more grateful and more and having have more gratitude, then we start to attract things to be grateful for. So then the universe, God, or whatever you're comfortable calling, it will say hey let's give him some more let's give him some more give me some more stuff to be grateful for or be happy about so as you start to do that you'll start to attract that energy on a quantum level or on an energy level molecules are stimulated by our energy patterns they are attracted to us so if we are in a joyful state of being then we are going to attract more joyful things because the universe never ever says no so listen Twist God's arm, because God wants you to twist his arm. And say, hey, give me more happiness. I promise you, everything will always work out for you. You have my word on that. Hey, peace and love. I'm Sacred Owl.